Now, here's the problem. A lot of developers look at this and just say that this is fine. We should just suppress the ASLint error and just provide an empty dependency array because after all, we only want to run this function once on mount, so we don't have to provide anything. Now, here's the problem with that and why that's completely the wrong approach. ESLint is not just some optional thing that we add and we impose on ourselves just to increase the difficulty and the challenge of building React applications. That doesn't make any sense. ESLint is a tool that we use to make sure that our code follows specific rules, which have a purpose, which end up resulting in better code with less bugs. Now, you may be thinking, well, what bugs? I don't see any obvious bug here because this is going to work. Well, you're right, this is going to work, but there's actually a bug here that you need to understand how React works to be able to see the bug. So in React, some Sometimes components get reused and recycled. For example, if we have a different page here with a different card ID, but this page component has already been mounted, what React is going to do is it's going to reuse that same component because it's cheaper to do that than creating the component from scratch. Which means that now you're going to have this page component here that is going to have a different card ID that's going to be a new render, but because you haven't provided that card ID in the dependency array, this use effect is not going to fire again. It only fired that one time for that one card ID which means that you're not going to be tracking every single cart ID in your application, which is missing information, which might lead you to make some misinformed decisions about your product, right? And that's an obvious bug. That's something that you want to avoid. And that's why we have ESLint, because now with ESLint, we can pass here params.cart ID. And now no matter what happens to this component, we're always making sure that we're always going to track every single time that cart ID changes. This is why we use ESLint in the first place. And this, by the way, is a very simple example. And even here we had a bug in a real application, you have many components, many use effect, many dependency arrays, and many more places for things to go wrong. So please listen to me, always use ESLint. It's not some optional thing, it's required. And I promise you, your code is going to be a lot better if you use it.